Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to share with you my personal experience and yes, I can truly say it from my personal experience that this powder mixture truly works guys. As after I began this, I, I found dead cockroaches and random corners of my house as this is a much cheaper and better solution to a cockroach problem than using the commercial poison. Although, you know, numerous options available in the market that promise to help you to get relief of, uh, you know, your common household troubles, but they are rarely of any great help. Plus, they are, you know, toxic, which may pose health threats to your loved ones as well. So before you go for those exterminators, try out this natural and safe remedy because it's even more effective at solving your problems. So, as we know that cockroaches are, you know, most of the times annoying. Not just annoying, they are disgusting to be witnessed in any household. But uh, more than, you know, discomfort to your eyes, they could be the reason behind some major health issues to your family as well. As they just enter into homes in the search of food, water and shelter, and once they have infested an area, they can multiply quickly, posing a threat to your comfort and health, and it's very important to get rid of them before an infestation occurs. So cockroaches are known to carry bacteria that can result in food poisoning, diarrhea, allergies, and skin rashes. In large numbers, they can also produce a foul odor. But there is no need to panic guys because you're in the very right place and uh, before I jump to the solution make sure you have to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update in the future. So to make this DIY cockroach filler the first thing you will need is the baking soda and as we have already discussed that how beneficial baking soda could be as it's um, the good option to control and prevent the growth of cockroaches and other insects in your premises as it dehydrates the pest's exoskeleton and damages their digestive system thus leading to their death so simply add three rats of uh, baking soda to a container the next thing you will need is sugar now sugar is very important for this process as it increases the effectiveness of the baking soda and uh, baking soda should always be used along with the sugar as it really helps to attract the cockroaches to the borax and you simply have to add one part of the sugar to it. Now the last but not the least is the refined flour. So yes, instead of throwing out the refined flour that had expired, I decided to do something useful with it by creating a cockroach killer powder. And that is right, the refined flour is the effective cockroach killer as it's natural and non-toxic and can, you, you know, alternative to poisonous commercial cockroach killing formulas that are advertised on television. So simply add three parts of the refined flour to the container and mix all the ingredients very well. Now simply pour some of the mixture into the shallow containers and place that shallow containers of your cockroach killing powder in corners and areas where you think cockroaches often roam. Now the sugar in the mixture will attract the cockroaches to eat it and the ingested baking powder or the baking soda will expand inside its stomach and this effectively kills them from you know inside out. And the container must be shallow enough for cockroaches to easily reach the mixture inside. So keep in mind guys. And uh, although the mixture isn't toxic to animals or the children in such small dose, it's still probably best to keep it out of uh, their reach since you don't you know, want them to touch or eat things like that cockroaches do. So uh, if you really found this video helpful, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, you can ask me as well in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.